Good morning, welcome back to another Clef Lip Gamer video. Episode 17 of my Six Ashes Story Driven Gameplay. As you can see from the money, I've been busy. I was working late into the night last night, um, cutting down trees, wood chipping and selling. The price it wasn't fantastic. Um, I think it was around about 800 and fifty pounds per thousand litres or something like that. Um I did about thirteen um trailer loads of that and I got if I just have a look at my list here, um hundred and forty seven thousand six hundred and ninety four pounds from that. Um the tractor is over here because it needs um a bit of work doing on it. So we'll do that to start with. Repair that. Um, so plans, right? Uh, another update. All the fields um, now have soybean in them, and they've all got a second fertilizer state, as you can see. So. I was very busy indeed. Um, I was going to, I, 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 while I was ploughing out the fields, I thought, oh, what I'll do is I'll sell that little bit of land that's got the trees on them. Um, thinking, oh yeah, I, I don't really do anything with that anymore and uh, you know, uh, I may as well get rid of it. And then I thought, you know what, I, I'm just going to crack on and, and get to get some trees cut down and make some money essentially it, it's kind of almost sort of free money at the moment um, yes i need to put the work in and i need to lease some equipment to do wood chipping or whatever um but that land it's not costing me anything it's just sitting there doing nothing so what i'll do is i'll put a little clip up now of um just uh, you know, a little bit of the work, and you can see the equipment, the, the wood chipper that I use. So I'll, I'll put that up now. Right, back again. Um, so that wood chipper, the, the the issue with that wood chipper, I thought I'd use that because it's easier to get the logs onto that wood chipper, and it was. It was so much easier. Um, the downside to it was the pipe was too low, and it wouldn't go over the top of the. Rollins trailer that I've got, the bigger trailer. So that's why I was using my small 14,000 litre trailer. Um, now at the time, the biogas plant was paying out more money, but having only been able to use the little trailer, um, I just I just went to the sawmill because it, it's right next door to that little bit of land, um, and it was only I think it was only fifty pound more per thousand liters, so it wasn't like it was a massive difference. 
So first job today, I'm going to get the grass cut in this field and field 15. Get it collected, get it put in the silo and then once it's all collected I'm then going to plough this field and um, reseed it, fertilise it and reseed it. Just so that in future I, I know that I'm getting um, maximum kind of yield from my grass. So that is today's plan. Um, I may get some more cows. I, I, I may do. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, let, let, let's get a cracking. For those of you that are um, kind of new to my videos, um, so a little bit about me. Um, I, I've got a cleft lip. Um, and in my early videos, I did say that it's the reason that my voice sounds funny. And um, I was told not that long ago that my voice doesn't sound funny apparently, it sounds different. So put the lights on so I can see around my new hedges. So. I, you know, take that however you will. Um, my voice sounds different. Is, but then, uh, you know, I guess everybody's voice sounds different to how they expect it to, how they hear it in your own head. Um, I always thought that was, you know, just kind of a, a thing that I experienced. The voice in my head sounds completely different to how it does um, for everybody else and uh, I've realised that having started doing uh, videos um, you know I, I have to sit and listen to, to myself waffling on while I edit the videos um, and it was only when I did the video a while ago with my son we played Call of Duty for a bit and uh, while I was editing the videos, my lad came in and you know, he's like, oh my god, you know, is that what my voice sounds like? It never occurred to me that everybody hears their own voice differently. That, it's just, I just thought that was you know, something that I experienced. So, yeah, doing this has been a, a bit of a learning curve really for me. Um, I've definitely got used to listening to my own voice. I've, I've edited quite a lot of videos. I mean, I'm on episode 17 now with this one. I didn't think I'd get this far, to be honest. I thought I'd have given up doing it by now. Um, so I, I've kind of grown used to that and, you know, kind of accepted that that's what my voice really sounds like, I suppose. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd, I'd, you know, have a bit of a waffle about that for a, for a minute or two. Um, I have had some really good comments from people saying, you know, don't worry about it, uh, you know, your voice sounds fine. So it, it's great. Yeah, I, I really am appreciative of all the support that I've had from people. It really does make a massive difference, so thank you very much for that. Um, I've also noticed that I've got quite a few people that are watching my videos who are not subscribers yet. Um, yeah, if you could do me a favour and just hit the subscribe button, that would be really good. Uh, it really does help out a very small YouTuber like myself, um, you know, just kind of getting your subscriber numbers up, even if you don't want to watch future videos, you know, that's entirely your choice, um, but just by hitting that, that little subscriber button, it really does make a massive difference, so if you don't subscribe yet, please 
think about it. Right, I am going to finish off uh, cutting the grass on these fields and um, I will catch up with you in a little while. Right, field 20 is cut and I collected probably two thirds of the grass maybe uh, and my silo is fairly full so this one field 15 I'm going to do hay um, and then put that in the silo as well. Um, the grass that is left on field 20, I'm going to bale that, wrap it and sell it as silage. I, I don't need any more silage at the moment, I've got plenty of silage in the silo. I've still got silage in the bunker silo as well, so got plenty to be getting on with. Um, I did uh, last night I also made uh, a bit more total mixed rations so um, I've got a, a silo full of total mixed ration now so I'm okay for that for now so definitely don't, don't need any more silage for a while um, so I'm going to say I'll, I'll bail wrap and sell that this hay um, if it fills the silo I may well, um, I'll either bail it and keep it or I'll bail it and sell it. I won't get much at all for bales of hay but, you know, it's better than nothing. Uh, so we'll, we'll see, how, uh, see how we go with this. So. Well, it's, uh, I'm recording this, it's um, Wednesday the 2nd of December, so... Christmas has officially begun in our house. Um, put the Christmas decorations up at the weekend. Normally I'm quite kind of strict, is that the right word? Um, my wife and kids always want to get the Christmas decorations up as soon as possible and I always kind of say, you know, when 1st of December comes then we can put the, the decorations up. Um, but I know the weekend, technically, it was still November. Well, not technically, it was still November. Um, but my, it, it was a weekend my wife was off. And this week, uh, she's been working late. She does 12-hour shifts, didn't get home till late. Kids are already in bed by the time she gets home. So this coming weekend, uh, she's working. So... I, I was a bit more lenient this year, I, you know, I said, yeah, let, let's get the decorations up at the weekend, let's get it done. Um, start to, to feel Christmas, and this year has been a right old crap year, so. Yeah, there's, uh, the trees up, the decorations are up. Looking nice. Kids are excited. I think calendars are up. Um, so yeah, it's all uh, all going well. Will Santa be bringing me a PlayStation Five? No, no, he won't. Uh, <laughs> um, I won't be getting a PlayStation Five for a while yet. I don't think um, cost is an issue, obviously, and just not being able to get hold of one really. Um, so, uh, so no, PlayStation 4 is for a while, I'm afraid, so I'm quite happy. And if I'm honest, um, the launch lineup of games, nothing really kind of 
nothing really appealed to me, I have to be honest. Um, you know, I watched a couple of the kind of pre-launch videos that, you know, that Sony did where they, you know, kind of talked about the games that were coming and things. Nothing really stood out to me. Maybe that's because um, I'm getting older. Maybe it's because my gaming habits have changed um, since lockdown. I, I don't know. Um, you know, in my early videos, if you've not watched them, um, I used to play Destiny 2 a lot, and I mean a lot. I played it all. That was the only game I played. I didn't play any other games at all. Um, I had quite a few friends that, that I played alongside. Um, we did various in-game activities together. Um, you know, we got the whole kind of uh, group chat going. Um, and then lockdown hit and I really wasn't kind of feeling the best. Um, you know, I was kind of getting stressed out doing school work with the kids being at home and my own work you know that was really really busy um so um i kind of stopped playing destiny for a while um and then this came out on playstation plus and I remember we were decorating the, the hall stairs and landing, uh, me and my wife, and um, the kids were downstairs, and, and my lad was like, oh, you yeah, know, this has come out, Dad, can you go and load it? Because he, he doesn't have PlayStation Plus, so I downloaded it on my PlayStation, and uh, I can remember kind of, you know, he, he was playing it while we were, while we were decorating, and, uh, uh, you know, I kind of watched him and I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll have a go at that, let, let me have a quick go and the rest, as they say, is history. I was I was hooked and I've been playing it ever since. And I, I did play, I did try and play Destiny 2 the other day, I put it on, I thought I'll just see, you know, what I've been missing and, and catch up a bit with, uh, with everybody that plays it and it just, I don't know, it didn't feel didn't grab me at all, I, I really wasn't that fussed about playing it, um, and you know, a, a lot has changed in the game, and, and they had, you know, DLCs and new content, but it just didn't, didn't appeal to me, so, came back on, on Farming Simulator instead, so, um, I also played the other night, um, Snowrunner. Um, did a bit of multiplayer action on that and, and quite enjoyed that so I might might start playing that again but probably won't be recording that though because a lot of it is just driving along you know there's, there's not a lot of um, of action as it were um, in terms of making a video and making things that are perhaps interesting to watch he says as you're watching me wind grow a field of hay uh, <laughs> yeah it's a strange one that one how i how i perceive what that game can offer in terms of a video but anyway all right uh, enough waffling um i'll get this done and as i say any hay that i can't put in the silo i'll bail it um and we'll, and we'll go from there so i'll uh, i'll catch you in a in a little while So, as you've just seen, 
I leased a Vela wrapper. It was the Pottinger one from the new Alpine DLC. Um, push that one along a bit. It was five thousand pounds for lease. Um, and Charlie failed. Charlie's at the moment is going for five hundred pounds per thousand leases at the livestock barn. So by my reckoning, that is um, two and a half bales and I will have covered the cost of the baler. I've got seven bales on the field, so I won't make a great deal, but you know, it's better than nothing. Yes, I know I've missed some grass on the floor. Um, it wasn't the neatest of jobs, but I, you know, it got the job done. Right, let's get that on there. Uh, hay wise, um, all of the hay went in the silo. So if we have a look what we've got in there now. Uh, it's one of those three up there. I can't remember which one. <laughs> um, is it the middle one? I, I can't remember. But anyway, all of the silos, not silos, all of the hay went into the silo, that's what I was trying to say. Um, so once I've got this done, I'm going to get these two fields ploughed, this field and field 15 ploughed, and then seeded with fresh grass seed and fertilised. Um, I could have leased a an auto stack trailer, but that would have eaten into my kind of profits, if you like. Um, so that's why I'm loading the bales manually. Right, I'll get these sold. I'll get the fields ploughed. And uh, I've seen a bit, the, uh, I was looking earlier at the wool price, the wool price is um, on the up. All six of my reusable wool pallets are full. And I think I've got one regular wool pallet um, full, the other ones that kind of spawn automatically. I've got a full one of those and a uh, half of an, another one, so I need to get the wool sold and the reusable pallets back into the marked area. Ooh, push that one a bit too far. Oh no, might be alright. Right, okay. I'll um I'll see you in a little while. Okay, so it's uh, just after lunchtime. Fields 15 and 20 are done. And they've both now got two fertilising states on. Um, looks like I've missed some lime required there somewhere around the edge of field 22. Um, the price for wool is uh, quite good at the moment, so it's it's topped out. I can't read that from here. I think it says one thousand and something. So I'm sat on the side of the, the living room. I can't, I can't read that that number from all the way over here. Just like a, a lovely jacket potato for me dinner. Right, let's. Uh, I've got all the wool uh, loaded up on the trailer. These were really neat and stacked right next to each other. Um, and then I saved the game and I came out, because as I said before, I kind of, um, I record this over a number of different sessions. And they've all moved. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, 
So yeah, I've got a, 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 a pallet and a half lot of wool, but they, they will go into these pallets when I bring them back, so. Right, uh, off to the spinnery, let's get these sold. Yeah, they were stacked on there really neatly, but they're not quite so so neat now, but never mind. They're still on there, so that's what, what matches, so. Here we are at the spinnery. Now, will this will it take these off this trailer? If I just reverse into there, can't see. It did with the um, the silage bales that I sold. Um, can't remember right here. Hang on, right here. How do you take extension straps off? There you go. Um, with the silage bales, I just reversed into the, the selling area and it, it took them straight off the trailer. Um, oh yeah, there it goes, they're going. It's about 14 grand. Not bad at all. Right, I'm going to get these back down to the farm. Um, probably a shorter episode, um, this one. If you're wondering what that noise was, that was um, that was Alexa just telling me I've got a notification. Um, right, get these back down to the farm. Back in the um, in the shed. As I say, all oh, right. Um, yeah, probably a bit of a shorter episode this one compared to the last couple that I've done, but uh, that's it for today. Um, next episode we're going to get that soybean harvested, uh, that should be ready fairly soon. Probably look at getting some more animals as well, maybe. Um, so, if you could like, share, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. That would be amazing and I will see you in the next one.